because it's Southampton versus a Crystal Palace. Southampton plus 135. Draw no bets at minus 145. Crystal Palace at plus 215. Looks strong midweek. Just couldn't finish off their chances. Uh, draw no bet. It's plus money for the away side. Uh, couldn't really split these, Tom. The draw's at plus 235. That's a runner. You're in Southampton. What's the feeling like at this team? Because if you start trusting them, you're going to lose money. I think that's it. I mean, you know, they start <laughs> building a little bit of momentum. I mean, for both these teams, really. They both start building a bit of momentum and then it comes crashing down. Um, you can't trust either of them. I mean, I've been to St. Mary's quite a few times this season. Um, luckily for me, I've seen them win quite a few games this year. But just as they start looking good, um, they're equally as bad. So, I mean, I've got this one as a real write-off for me. Um, both these teams are sort of safe from relegation. Um, and they're both having terribly patchy form. Um, it's not really a game I'd want to touch. I think it's got draw written all over it. Maybe are both teams to score. Um, but it's, it's a real tough one to call. It, it really depends who turns up on the day for me. Tom, what's your mentality? Because obviously you're, you live in Southampton mm-hmm. and you're an Arsenal fan. Do you yeah. tend to dodge betting on Arsenal and Southampton? Or if the money or the number's right, you still get involved? Uh, I tend to avoid uh, Southampton, just like I said, just because their form is so, you know, I've seen them have some great games this year and, and some of their games have been so poor at the same time. Um, but Arsenal, I, I think I can rely on Arsenal a little bit more. You know, I've been up to Emirates a couple of times this season and, and I can kind of pick the games where I think those are the games where I trust us. I trust the team that's being put out. I know the injuries. So I trust Arsenal more than I trust Southampton, that's for sure. OK, Mitch. Over two and a half goals, plus 100. This time of the year, it's normally goals. Teams relax, give them freedom, especially when you get two sides like this who are nowhere near relegation, so they can go out and enjoy themselves. I'm like so with Tom here. The first thing I put down was pass. There are a couple of leans. <clears throat> there are a couple of leans I have here, though. I have this in a parlay piece. Uh, the over 1.5 is really juiced at minus 263, but it, I mean, there's another over one and a half and first half city parlay that I like it's around 284 but like he said the boat team to score is a lean for me I could see that um but god it's like the other day he was saying I I liked Palace first half the other day I loved it and they they didn't they didn't hit it and then of course I get lucky and I take them in a live draw so I I can't I can't get Palace games right it seems like most of the time so it's a pass for me but as far as a parlay piece, the over 1.5 and I lean both teams to score. Yeah, well, if you had watched the show, you'd have had uh, Crystal Palace uh, Leeds. You'd have had Leeds double chance at minus 120. Mm-hmm. So uh, live and learn. OK, there, myself and Mark O'Hare both like Palace. Draw no bet. Plus 125, just because you can't rely on the home side. And Palace have got weapons. Uh, if Southampton do have an off day, then they can score goals. So pa- only at the numbers, I think. Palace draw no bet. Plus 125. We don't think the Palace get beat just because of their strength. And they've got so many different weapons. Southampton's all about the, basically the uh, the midfield two. And Brozier up front, maybe with a little bit of energy on the wings. But who knows actually who's going to play? Because Southampton are one of them sides that one week they're on the beach, next week they're awful. Then they're back on the beach and then they're good. So, yeah, just be careful. I wouldn't go anywhere near Southampton actually winning the game. So there's the official pick. It's Palace draw no bet plus 125. And I can tell you Mark O'Hare is also Palace draw no bet at plus 125. But we'll see Mark O'Hare and Stinch's bets at the end. 